It's time for another one of Ant Rogerson's beers, and it's going to be the Columbus Brown Ale. Uh, this is a beer that I brewed myself. Sent one to Ant, he brewed it. Uh, Tube Dinos has brewed it. Um, I think Cheshire Homebrew has, uh, has brewed it. I've kept this fairly sort of stellar temperature rather than too much in the fridge. I think that's how I've drunk pretty much most of mine. Look at that. That's that. The distinct smell of uh, Columbus hops is just lovely. Mm, it's just as I remember it. That's really nice. I don't. I don't have any of my batch left, it's, it's long gone, and I don't even think it would have uh, warranted doing a side by side because it's, it's bang on. There's no, I can't, I think Ant seemed to think that he's one weren't quite as good, I think, I'm sure he said something like that, but for me, this is bang on the money, it's exactly the same as when. when I had it. Tastes even better. Not when you haven't had something for a long time and it's just. Oh, it is a good beer. I think I get the malts a little bit more on uh, on this one. I don't know on my one they didn't seem to come through as much, but. Or maybe because I've drunk enough of it now that I can, I can pick them out a bit more. But it's um, I don't know. I maybe think about when I do it again if I would uh, ramp up the hops a bit. But I think it might spoil the the balance of the beer. I think it's I think it's just right. It's very much like um. There's a beer from Otley Brewery called uh, Oxymoron, which is uh, a black IPA style beer. And it's uh, it's quite similar to that. The recipe actually. Well, I say it's similar to that. I don't know if that's their recipe, but it's the equivalent of. Oh. There's not much to say about this beer. I know I know how nice it tastes already, but it's more just to let Ant know that he's done a fine job at, at brewing it up. It tastes great to me. Hmm. I think I've got two more left. I've got a porter and a stout, I believe. I can't wait to get stuck into them. They're definitely going to be gone by this weekend. It's definitely a recipe to brew. I think if you haven't seen... Um, I didn't do a video of me brewing it, but I can send you the recipe. Or and or uh, Chief Dino's, any of the people that have already brewed it. Hmm. I think that's the uh, definitely the way forward. I think is um, to brew beers that other brewers have brewed. I think I get too many recipes that I see in books. You know, you don't know if they're going to be good or not, and that. But when you get a beer that's sort of recommended by another home brewer. That's brewed it much like the uh, Mochuoka smash that I did with two Dinos. You know, he he raved about how good it was and that, and I thought I've got to give that a go. And I tried it. I mean, obviously, 
you can't expect you know every beer that someone else brews that you're going to like as well. But when you're getting the recommendation of a fellow home brewer, rather than just reading that you know a recipe in a book, it might sound good on paper, but you know you just don't know if it's going to be good. But when someone can kind of describe you know what they're going to get out of that beer when they brew it themselves, or like this when you can get a bottle sent to you, perfect. I think that's the way forward with uh, with brewing recipes. I think we should should share um, a lot more of uh, of the good ones, obviously. Cheers, Anne. Cheers, everyone else.